Hi, ArcfieldWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Thursday morning, January the 8th. A big time change is coming to the upper air pattern over Alaska, the west coast of Canada. We talked about this yesterday. There will be a, a very strong upper level ridge forming in that part of North America and it will have ramifications across the United States and Canada going forward. It looks like we have a very mild conditions starting the day here today across much of the nation and a lot of that mild weather will finally uh, move into the northeastern part of the country on Friday and Saturday. This current mild spell in the northeastern states reaches a peak on Friday and Saturday. Places like D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City and there will be plenty of rainfall as well to go along with those milder conditions. Specifically, it looks like some occasional showers in the mid-Atlantic northeast U.S. on Friday afternoon and then basically periods of rain Friday night and Saturday. Some of that rain can be heavy at times. Turns cooler on Sunday, even colder on Monday. And then the overall pattern kind of returns to a more winter-like pattern for the central and eastern states later next week and beyond. And we'll kind of talk about that over the next few minutes. First of all, wanted to start off with the 10-day forecast map of total accumulated precipitation by last night's zero z run of the euro model and take a look here at california this is kind of evidence of the big time change coming to western part of the u.s to western part of canada and all the way up into alaska namely the uh, very wet weather pattern of recent weeks across California changes abruptly with this development of a strong upper level ridge along the west coast of Canada and Alaska and we'll show that with the 500 millibar forecast maps in a moment but for the next 10 days uh, very little in the, in the uh, uh, way of precipitation across California they've been inundated with low level rains and high elevation snows over the past few weeks continues over the next couple of days to see some uh, appreciable precipitation across Washington State and British Columbia region of Canada but even there the pattern changes as well over the next few days with the development of that strong ridge of high pressure. Meanwhile back east looks like a soaking rain event for the lower Mississippi Valley, the Tennessee Valley coming from later Friday, Friday night into the day on Saturday. Some of this heavy rainfall makes its way up into the mid-Atlantic region. I think Friday night and Saturday we'll uh, see a soaking rainfall. D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City. So there is some appreciable precipitation coming uh, between now and the uh, latter part of the upcoming weekend across the eastern half of the nation. Well, let's now focus in on the 500 millibar height anomaly pattern and, and uh, we will see big time changes coming uh, on this forecast loop here. Take a look out here right now, starting the day here on Thursday, we have a lot of blue. That represents upper level trough, upper level trough and low pressure in the upper part of the ap atmosphere or lower heights to normal. There is some higher heights than normal over Greenland. We've kind of talked about that. This is the same uh, upper level ridge that was parked over northern Europe uh, during much of December. It kind of retrograded uh, to the uh, Greenland area, northern Canada. Now watch what happens, especially out here, over the next uh, several days. We'll just move forward in time here. Again, we're looking at the 500 millibar height anomaly pattern. This is now for tomorrow and then we go into the upcoming weekend. This is the Saturday morning forecast map. You start to see a ridge starting to pop up here across the interior sections of the western U.S. and southwestern Canada. Here's one trough that is kind of basically moving from west to east across the U.S. here over the next few days. Then we get into the latter part of the upcoming weekend. This is an impressive trough that uh, puts, uh, uh, helps to produce some Decent rainfall amounts for the mid-Atlantic region, northeast U.S., uh, from basically Friday night through the day on Saturday, even into Sunday morning across the northeastern states, and a ridge really starting to pop up out there over the western U.S. Now, then we get into the early part of next week, and again, stay focused right out here, the eastern Pacific, and watch the, uh, really, the explosion of this upper-level ridge here, right here over the west coast of Canada 
into uh, uh, it, it extends up into Alaska by later next week. Now this is a week from tomorrow, next Friday, January 16th. Just a tremendous upper level ridge forms here along the west coast of Canada and into Alaska here. And this, right off the bat, will have one kind of a, a big impact. Uh, right now we have a lot of mild air across the nation. That mild air basically has pushed in from off the Pacific Ocean. When you get air masses off the Pacific Ocean, this time of the year it's generally mild air, warmer than normal kind of uh, uh, air, and that is what has flooded the nation over the past few days and reaches the northeastern states in, a, in a full throttle on Friday and Saturday. When you get a ridge developing like this, that uh, tends to just uh, prevent the Pacific Ocean mild air from uh, enveloping the U.S. It's kind of forced up into this area right here, uh, uh, not able to reach the U.S. And you can see the flow is likely to be something like this uh, once this ridge starts to pop. And again, we're looking at a forecast map for the latter part of next week. This certainly can result in some very cold air moving in from northwestern Canada into the central U.S. and presumably eventually spilling out over into the eastern states. So when you have a huge ridge of high pressure, a powerful ridge of high pressure, higher heights than normal, pop up along the west coast of Canada, again, that tends to be a cold signal for the central and eastern states. And in this case, we're starting to get uh, uh, strong signs for trough developing somewhere in the central and eastern U.S. and exactly how this plays out. You can see kind of one short wave in this longer wave upper level trough uh, centered over the southeastern states by next Friday morning. Another area here, a short wave within the overall a large scale upper level trough. And exactly how these interact with each other will kind of dictate whether or not there's possibility of accumulating snow later next week into the following weekend across uh, the mid-Atlantic region, the northeast U.S. It's just too early to say exactly how this will play out here, but it's an interesting pattern for the central and eastern states by the time we get to the second half of next week into the following weekend, and I'm sure beyond that as well. But this is the big change, that powerful upper-level ridge forming in that part of North America. Well, let's walk through the 850 millibar a temperature anomaly forecast maps, again using the zero Z run of the GFS. And we have this uh, 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 well above normal conditions right now, well above uh, normal temperatures across much of the nation. Again, this is an air mass that pushed in basically from west to east from the Pacific Ocean into the U.S. in this fashion. And it really reaches a peak in uh, terms of temperatures in the northeastern states on Friday and Saturday. I'm not sure which day turns out to be the warmest day, uh, places like D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, but the combination of the two will be the peak of this milder spell in the mid-Atlantic in the northeast U.S. Now, we'll move forward in time here and we'll see a colder air mass moves back into the northeastern states on Sunday, but it's only moderately cold and uh, we'll have to wait for uh, even colder air later next week to filter into the central and eastern states for it to become a more winter-like weather pattern. Here we go on Saturday, certainly a, a strong cold front right in this area right here. Uh, passes through Chicago, for example. They have a playoff game with the Bears late Saturday afternoon. That cold front will be off to the east, so it'll certainly be cold, maybe some snow as well. And that air mass moves into the mid-Atlantic region on Sunday on the heels of a cold frontal passage Saturday night. Moderately cold. This is by no means is this uh, extreme cold. This is a moderately cold air mass. Doesn't last too long in the eastern part of the nation. We get to the early part of next week and you can kind of start to see uh, a large area of above normal temperatures again across southern Canada, the northern U.S. And then we start to see some colder air uh, getting into the pattern here. Now this is next Wednesday, Wednesday night time frame, and you can see this colder than normal pattern starting to set up again. It, it is around this time we saw that upper level trough really setting up over the eastern half of the nation. At the same time, the ridge is starting to pop up 
over Western Canada, over the Eastern Pacific Ocean, and go out a little bit farther in time. And indeed, by the time we get to the end of next week, this is next Friday, we do have some cold, uh, chilly air here extending all the way down to the Gulf Coast from the southeastern part of Canada. And this is associated with that uh, developing upper level ridge, that intense upper level ridge uh, that comes with warmer than normal temperatures as well. But again, a lot of that mild Pacific air will kind of be forced up into Alaska instead of coming into the U.S. as has been the case uh, during the past several days. So this is not going to happen once that Alaska ridge sets up. Now let's walk through the surface forecast maps from last night's zero-z run of the GFS. We do have a, a, a decent storm system out over the middle of the nation. Now we'll move forward here uh, on Thursday and some of these uh, uh, the, some of this activity can include some strong thunderstorms as well out across the middle part of the nation. Some snow in Denver and certainly at those higher elevation locations nearby. Uh, a mild weather pattern today, tomorrow, and Saturday in the eastern U.S. And here we go into the, the morning hours on Friday. We have cold frontal system right here moving east in a kind of a line of showers and thunderstorms out ahead of it across the Ohio Valley. And certainly there's a chance for some soaking rainfall across the Tennessee Valley, the lower Mississippi Valley, once this uh, uh, system gets well established. We'll move forward in time here and we have kind of a, a reformation of low pressure down across the uh, lower Mississippi Valley region by Friday night early Saturday time frame and this is when that heavy rain really breaks out right in this part of the nation and eventually uh, moves into the uh, mid-Atlantic, the, the uh, northeast U.S. Now let's move forward in time here. This is overnight Friday night into Saturday. Again watch for some heavy rainfall, maybe two, three inches of rain in some areas by uh, Saturday, midday Saturday let's say across the Tennessee Valley region. Then that Soaking rainfall moves up into the mid-Atlantic region. I do believe there will be soaking rainfall in that D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City car. Again, uh, primarily focused on Friday night and Saturday time frame. Probably the heaviest period for rain will be Saturday morning, midday hours in that D.C. to New York City car right in this time period right here. This is the, the uh, six-hour accumulated precipitation as of midday on Saturday, so Saturday morning, what quite wet indeed, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City. Here comes that colder air mass that uh, uh, crosses over Chicago, the Great Lakes, during the day on Saturday and then into the northeastern part of the nation by Sunday. Let's move forward here in time, and here comes that cold front right in this region by early Sunday, moving in this direction here. Again, this is not extreme cold. This is moderately cold air mass here that reaches the mid-Atlantic region, the northeast U.S. on Sunday. And it actually turns a little bit colder between Sunday and Monday. There's kind of a secondary push of cold air. So Monday looks like it'll turn out to be a colder day than Sunday. And Sunday certainly colder than Saturday or Friday in the mid-Atlantic northeast U.S. will go all the way out to a Sunday night and certainly we will have that kind of common pattern we've had recently with strong low pressure departing off to the north and east and high pressure coming in from the west and your tight pressure gradient right in this area here so expect strong northwest winds by the time we get to late Sunday, Sunday night time frame across New England, across the mid-Atlantic region. This is overnight Sunday night going into Monday morning and here we go by Monday morning we have this cold air mass in place here and again it turns a little bit colder on Monday compared to Sunday with a secondary cold frontal push uh, passing through the northeastern states by, by uh, late Sunday, Sunday night the time frame and we start off next week with uh, some very chilly air across the Great Lakes, Mid-Atlantic, Northeast U.S. And then the pattern becomes more winter-like during the latter part of next week and we'll just have to focus in on that over the next few days because there are lots of players on the field but certainly there's a chance for snow for example in the northeastern states anytime from Wednesday or Thursday and beyond of next week we'll focus in on that 
possibility over the next several days. That's it for now. For arcfieldweather.com, this has been meteorologist Paul Dorian.